have to understand though, for many children, when you remove the joy, you also actually remove the ability to, to successfully learn to read. So when we, we look at our reading proficiency numbers as a nation, um, the national report card, the national re -re reading report card, we're at about 35%, I believe. Is it, is it 35 um, for the nation and about 21% for underserved children? These are dismal, dismal mm -hmm. scores. And we also need to understand that Although the loss of potential is a tragedy, actually getting behind in your reading skills, every year it gets worse and worse and worse. And that uh, this is often associated with not graduating high school. Yes. It creates huge problems with economics uh, opportunities in the future. It destroys self-esteem. If everything in school is kind of contingent upon your ability to read, to know what to do, so you can't really do anything, and that's day after day, how, how do you have a positive self-image mm -hmm. if every day you're struggling? And what ends up happening is people just, children, end up just saying, I don't care about this. Uh, it's a defense. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are so many levels of tragedy and that come from not loving reading and not experiencing this joy. And again, the, it, 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 you know what, Vanessa, it's more than that with mm -hmm. early childhood. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, shared reading experiences are necessary for full cognitive, social, emotional, and language development. We're talking about basic growth, basic yeah. health. This is why many doctors now, under the guidance of American Academy of Pediatrics, often through a program called Reach Out and Read, are prescribing books. So you'll, you'll have a doctor's visit and books will be prescribed. Why? It is a basic health need. It is a basic need for cognitive function, well, cogn full cognitive potential, right. full language potential, full social emotional. So these shared reading experiences, it, in our kind of our concept in many places where you go, including those meetings with leaders and stuff, they're seen as nice. Isn't this great? Our kids love reading. It's not great that your kids love reading. It is mandatory. <laughs> that right. your children love reading. It yes. is a basic necessity that all children have an abundance of shared, joyful reading experiences.